Clout recently added Instagram and Bing to their scoring algorithms. And I thought it was very interesting that I saw my Clout score jump two points right off the bat. Um, and Bing isn't actually showing up in mine yet. But I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at these analytics and see how this works. Uh, so I'm looking at the graph and it shows me the overall change and how my score has changed and jumped up two points right here. Uh, it also shows me that, no surprise to me, Twitter is my biggest channel and it's the one I use the most and I guess get the most shares on. Then it's Facebook, Instagram, which was just added, so that's very interesting to me. LinkedIn, uh, this red one is clout scores where people have given me plus Ks. And then the last one is uh, Google Plus contributions. So I can get an idea of which networks I'm most impactful on. And maybe there are some that I wanna do a little more sharing on to increase their impact and work a little harder there. And just to take a quick look at some of the stats that it's gonna give you, it isn't going to tell you which ones are really the most influential from Clout's perspective. It's just giving you some basic hard stats on, you know, for Google Plus, for example, how many plus ones there have been. So you can look through this on your own account and get some ideas on whether or not this is what really relates to you. Now, the interesting thing that they've added, if you disagree with these stats, there's this little hidden microphone up here and you can click that and you can report to Clout that you think some of these stats are incorrect. And if you're going to do that, it will send you feedback. In theory, they'll rerun the algorithm, uh, but it would be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, I think mine are pretty accurate, so I'm not gonna make any changes, but I wanted to give you a quick look at this and I'll also be writing a blog post to go with it.